yellow Jacob here. And today, I have a new pickup to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, this particular bad boy is an eBay pickup. And, uh, well, like I say, just basically continues a string of pickups over, you know, several days and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of get into this here. And this particular jersey, as I said, is from eBay and from PTF Sports. And these guys are based in Parsippany, New Jersey. And, uh, well, <laughs> let's just say right here, this thing, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, well, let's go ahead and kind of get into this, because this particular jersey has a story to it. So, yeah, when I went to go purchase this thing off of eBay, like I say, these guys are based in New Jersey. About a day or so after I bought it, or whatever, two days, give or take, it said it was in Los Angeles, California. Good old L.A. And I'm like, what? Again, for those of you who, you know, geography may not be your strong suit, <laughs> let's just say um, New Jersey and uh, California are on complete opposite sides of the country from each other. And <laughs> so, needless to say, I was a little nervous and a little worried. Because, again, a lot of times, well, maybe not a lot of times per se, but I know in some instances, in some cases, when that happens, and that either means a jersey is lost or it gets, you know, it's stuck in a loop somewhere or it just basically, you know, makes me a little hesitant, a little nervous that I might not be getting the thing. Because I know, you know... <laughs> Because that's just always an issue when you buy from, like, eBay and, like, especially through the post serve, post office or various postal services throughout the country, like UPS, FedEx, and stuff like that. You're kind of at the mercy of, well, a lot of things out of your control. <laughs> so, needless to say, when it said it was in California, literally after being, you know, shipped from New Jersey, I was a little nervous. But, thankfully, it came in and... Uh, we're all hunky door here. And again, shout out to PTF Sports. Yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually get into the jersey. So yeah, this particular jersey is an NHL jersey. And this particular team comes to us from the Atlantic Division. And, uh, well, this particular jersey is an alternate of this team. And, uh, well, for the first time in a long time, I actually picked up a jersey of this team because it wasn't like $300. Because <laughs> that's just sort of a thing with, like, teams, especially when they're, like, winning a lot and, well, <laughs> stuff like that. It, it, jerseys tend to be a little more expensive and a little harder to find. And this was no exception, but, man, this thing is absolutely gorgeous, though. Boom. It is a Tampa Bay Lightning, I guess, third jersey, their black alternate, which I don't know if they still use this as an alternate or not. I know over the last few seasons or so, I've seen this in a few games. And uh, honestly, kind of looking at it and stuff like that, it is a really, really solid jersey. Really nice and... Uh, I mean, you can never go wrong with a nice black jersey. Granted, I know, you know, some Tampa Bay fans and other jersey collectors might disagree here just because of some of the striping and stuff like that, but, yeah. It is a nice, nice jersey. So, yeah, as you can see here, it has bolts in the neck collar. It's a Fanatic size 2XL, so just your typical heat-pressed lightning bolt but it's a gray lightning bolt has like these shoulders which have like dots and stuff like that kind of like a gradient or like a I'm still not 100% sure why they did that or 
if that has any meaning anything if it's supposed to be like rain because you know tampa bay lightning or if it's basically supposed to be like breaking through the black ice or the or ice or just i'm not exactly 100 percent sure if this has any meaning or if it's just you know designers being designers and it still has the tags and it is a blank on the back So yeah, that'll basically conclude this video. Also, again, stay tuned because, well, I do have a few more things coming. I know I have, like, two more jerseys coming. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now. But again, this is a very solid jersey, and I only got this thing for, like, 60 bucks. So, yeah. And again, I don't think I need to tell you, but Tampa Bay jerseys aren't always the cheapest things to find or, you know, easiest to find secondhand, especially with all the success Tampa's been having over the last four or five seasons. So, but yeah, that'll basically conclude this video. So, until we meet again, this is Jacob. And again, one last time, shout out to PTF Sports on eBay. So until we meet again, have a good day.